Only a few more days until the draft, baby. Let's fucking go. Yo, I'm getting ready to leave for New York on uh, Wednesday. Um, this is a video about Lonzo Ball getting interviewed by Isaiah Thomas. Not Isaiah Thomas on the Celtics. Isaiah Thomas that was on the Pistons. I have no idea what the fuck it's about. But where there's a Lonzo video, I'll be there. But yeah, I'm going to that bitch with my Lakers gear. So if Lonzo doesn't get drafted by the Lakers, I'm instantly taking that fucking hoodie off. And then I'm just going to rock my cab jersey. But you but anyways, I have no idea what the draft order is going to be. Like I heard, like the Celtics might not take Markel Fultz at number one. I don't want the Celtics to take Lonzo at number one. We need to get Lonzo at number two. I heard the Lakers are thinking about trading D'Angelo Russell for another top 12 pick. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I just hope that nigga goes to the Lakers. I wouldn't mind seeing Markel Fultz on the 76ers. That could be fucking later. But anyways, let's get it started. Jason Tatum this goes number one. Who goes number one if Markel yeah. Fultz goes number one? I don't know. My whole life. Anyways. Ever moved. Uh, both parents always around. You're right. It's home. Yep. So this is the first court you played on? <laughs> yeah, first court. So I started, and uh, now I'm back here doing pre-jam. I thought <laughs> I was going to show up at UCLA, you know. <laughs> but we in the backyard on the concrete. <laughs> this is where legends are made. <laughs> Most number one picks, they're in the gym. It's air conditioned. They got 20 people around. I see how you're working out. Right. You're on the concrete. You right. gotta imagine that the fence is a defender. You got all <laughs> kinds of obstacles yeah. and barriers yeah. back here. The savage way. You ain't got on no pads. It's just the you, real way. family, <laughs> and your trainer. Is that just how you are? Is that is that is yeah, this? Who's this trainer? Up. Demo? That yeah, dude, like Demo? Said, is that a trainer? Been here for me. You know, I never had to go to a gym. It was always right here. So um, my dad be out here with me late nights. So I mean, it's just normal for me. I mean, y'all come over here right there. like it's uneven, but I I think it's a good court. You always right. hear basketball compared to like jazz or music or art. And when I watch you play, right, it's like you paint a picture every time you play. Everybody <laughs> not like you. Everybody can't paint a Picasso. Yeah, everybody not a six inch point guard. You Fuck can. You mean. Because you Nobody can, is. that means you gotta do more, you gotta study more, and you gotta see more. Let's get it. You ever make music with the ball? I just <laughs> get out in the backyard with my Get Isaiah right. Thomas free cast. <laughs> he said, "You ever make love to the you ball? You ever make love, love to the hoop? Get his free cast." <laughs> you know they all got a name. When you see that rim, you're just looking at the back of the rim. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like walking through a neighborhood and looking at one house. Uh -huh. you name every, every spot right. on the rim, and you can get a relationship with it. When you get your rhythm, <laughs> you get that. Get his love freaky. You hit that shot. Don't let nobody touch it. See where that ball come back to. Uh, it might, it might, it might. You gonna hit it? Well, you know I'm gonna try to you play hit with it. You know, now you know I'm gonna try to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> now you starting to feel it. Yeah, yeah. Dance with it. Dance yeah, with it. Yeah. yeah. Find the ring. Yeah. Knock it down. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. That might come yeah. At you. That ball might like you. <laughs> you talking oh, yeah. about that ball might like you? Oh yeah. Curve a little to the left. <laughs> So you set the standard in terms of the work. Cool ass. Yeah, I try to. You know, I'm the oldest brother, so my dad always told me, you know, set the way for your younger brothers. Now that you got a relationship and you understand what this ball is supposed to do, right? On this wall, see how many times you can hit it. Play your favorite song now. Play your favorite song. What advice did you get from mom and dad? And damn, and I ain't never done that. What drill was the before. discussion about leaving school early and everything else? Yeah, they we already knew. Knew I was gonna be there one year. Right, coach, I nigga. Was cool with that. Nigga, if we didn't need to go, we wouldn't have went. Dad just tell me to stay. Fuck, y'all talk about? <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. What the hell? If we could have pulled the LeBron, the we wouldn't have went. You put what names the hell? on the move that you got. We got to find like what's gonna be your signature. Best advice your mom ever gave you? Say true to yourself. That really hits yeah. me hard because. You know, some people, when they get all this attention, you know, they go this way, they go that way. But if you stay true to yourself, you know, you're never going to change. Yeah. So I think I credit my mom for that. You got to punch yeah. me. Right. Yeah, you got to yeah. punch me with it. Uh, yeah. That's your family on Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You got to get it all. You <laughs> always see Patrick Beverly and Tony Allen kind of guys. Best advice <laughs> your dad ever gave you. Definitely keep working hard. When you sleep with someone working, and that person yep. can take your spot. So Facts only. That's Facts how the only. road is, and you got to work for Facts it. only. Facts only, no days Just off. Like you may bring the postman back with this. And I hope that you keep that type of authenticity about yourself. And you, your mom and dad, y'all stay together through this journey. <laughs> <laughs> no! All right, y'all, that is going to do it. I cannot wait for this NBA draft. 
nigga better go to the Lakers. If he doesn't go to the Lakers, I'm gonna be in that bitch like draw on the ground. Like what the fuck is going on? But anyways, um, I posted the uh, winners to the NBA draft contest on my Instagram. So if you didn't know about that, here they are right here. Here's all three of them. Shout out to them. I'll be meeting up with them. Um, go show them love on Instagram. Uh, shout out Lonzo. Uh, I said shout out Isaiah Thomas. Freaky ass. Talking about make love to the ball. You, you ever make music with the ball? You ever play video games with the ball? Get a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to do it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy. Let me know who, who, who the fuck is going number one if Marco Fultz isn't going number one anymore. Who's, who's going number one? Jason Tate? I don't know. You guys can let me know who you think is going where. Uh, tweet me more ideas for sure. Tweet me more ideas. Instagram, tweet me, comment, below. subscribe if you know we do this every day. Till next time, it's been your boy. And I'm at this bitch, nigga. NBA draft's going to be fucking lit. I've never been to a draft. It's just going to be lit.